welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. All right, guys, so this is Kurt. This is actually uh, kind of a request from my training partner, Aiken. We had talked about the last time we worked out <coughs> about the arm bar from the mount. And it's one of the first techniques taught in jiu-jitsu. And I talk about jiu-jitsu a lot on this channel. But let's make something perfectly clear. I'm a regular guy, a regular Joe, average martial artist at best. And this is for self-defense and control tactics and combatives and mixed martial arts for self-defense. So that's what this channel is. It's not a jiu-jitsu channel. And anyone who is a really good jiu-jitsu practitioner watching the channel knows that from my jiu-jitsu. But, <clears throat> what am I getting at? So, as it was first taught to me really early on, um, the person on the bottom is, uh, and I apologize for not having a live partner um, uh, when I thought of this. I didn't have a live partner possible to train with, but this is fine. I'll use my two grappling dummies. They teach it that the person's pushing away and you do what's called CPR. You're pushing down, or you're grabbing the hand, or you're doing something like this. It was taught to me, CPR. I prefer to grab the arm because you can do more things after the fact with this. And I like to plant one hand down on the ground, or right on the head of the bad guy, or up on the shoulder. But again, it was taught to me like this. But I've adapted to it to be more like this. Like so and straight down. Now, I like to scoop up the other arm and hook the arm hand and I come down into an arm bar. And I was having this conversation with the training partner the other day. Common white belt mistake that you only do so often is going straight down because you're going over your groin. Now, if you're wearing a groin cup, you're, you get away with it. But the arm bar is either going against one thigh or the other. It really depends. Like if you're falling to this side and you're grabbing the leg, then it's going more against this thigh. If you're doing more of a traditional, you're sucking it in, you're pinching your legs, and it's going against this thigh. I don't like that for self-defense for various reasons. But again, I'm just an average jiu-jitsu practitioner. I, I'm a grappler because I have to be because it's important to know good grappling skills for self-defense, so that's why I train jiu-jitsu like once a week. Again, guys, I'm not a big jiu-jitsu guy. So, here, I just transfer to what's called S-mount. I like to hook the uh, arm on the other side and swing around. I've got the arm either like this or like so. I'm squeezing, and again, this is, this is just to help take the power away from the other arm so I can go down into the arm bar. If this dude is excessively athletic and your jiu-jitsu is just average or you don't time something right, he could buck you off, shrimp away, hitchhiker escape out. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. Plus, in this position on the street, you're kind of vulnerable. Again, it's perfectly fine, depending on the situation. If you're aware of your surroundings, hopefully you are, you'll know that it's safe to do that or not. Again, common mistakes. People have way too much space between the hips and the shoulder. You need to be close in, pinch your arms. Uh, they say you should never cross your ankles, but you see Ronda Rousey do that all the time, and I dare somebody to tell her that she's not doing it right because she's, she's master at the arm bar. It all depends on who you learn it from. This is powerful too, I, I don't really, see a reason why you wouldn't cross your ankles, but again, I'm average jiu-jitsu at best. So I've always been taught, you're hooking the side of the head, you're hooking the rib cage, you're squeezing, you're coming across your thigh, and you're bringing it down. I like to start way up here, because the arm bar starts going on before you even touch the deck. Now, again, from here, you're hooking the shoulder, you go to an S mount, that's how I was taught, uh, I've seen it taught where you're here and you hop up on all four or on your two legs and then plop down. 
that's a lot of space for a split second. I'm not a big fan of that. But you rarely see me go for an arm bar. Again, because I'm an average jujitsu practitioner at best, nothing special about me. But in law enforcement, there is a way to handcuff from that position. Ugh, see here. I bring the arm across my thigh like this, and I almost like I'm doing a tactical get up. And then if this is a human practitioner, I can roll them over. And I've done that. You've probably seen it on video, I'll cut that in. And here I am using it with Colton. I think we were drilling. I don't think this was a live roll, but he was giving me realistic energy and I went into the S mount and here I am showing, oh, this is the handcuffing technique from Armbar. I'm a much bigger fan, and I'll use the other dummy for this after I demonstrate it on this one, to, if they're pushing, pop, lay down on it. Lay down on the arm. And then I lift up the head and I grab to their side. Now this is the gift wrap. You have way more options from here. It's just as easy, if not easier to get to. I do it on video all the time in our classes with Aiken. I can ground and pound from here if it's that type of situation. I can escape from here if it's that kind of situation. Or if I'm so insistent on arm barring, I will release it. Now I've still got a position of control and I can still arm bar and it's much more tighter. Again, pinching the knees, really curling it in. Let me try it. On my other dummy, because he has more flexible arms. This is a throwing dummy, and this one's a grappling dummy. So, if they're pushing, I might, and if their elbows come out or I pop their elbows out, I'll go to a high mount and maybe lay down on their arms, and that puts them in the perfect position for it to grab up the gift wrap. Here, you're laying on the arm. You scoop up under their head, it would be like that, and you turn them sideways like this. Again, ground and pound, tactical escape, more of your self-defense, crab maga, combatives escape, get up off the ground, or you just transfer to a Kimura grip, and then you can much easier go to the arm bar. Just food for thought, and again, this was because Aiken requested that. So Aiken, this is for you, guy. third rule clearly states, never spend more for an acquisition than you have to. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out.